Reverend David from the little church by the road, Friendship Baptist Church. Welcome. For y'all out there look, listening, uh, I want to do a little testimony before I start reading. Uh, I used to be on hospice. I got took off of it last week. I got released. And uh, it's something you don't hear much of. People being released off hospice. I was supposed to die, but I didn't. So, but uh, I think this church has brought me so much closer to God that I do believe He had His hand in taking care of me. And uh, but I'm gonna what I'm gonna read to you. Well, well, you maybe hopefully the ones of you that is believers. I know y'all understand, but I hope somebody out there will get something from it. What I'm about to read. Psalm 23, 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through a valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For, I, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou pres, preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, and thou knowest me, my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Y'all think about it forever as a long time. Uh, now I'm going to turn over to John 3.16 and read you it. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned. Already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. Condem con condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light neither come to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth, doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought within God Amen. But uh, while I'm up here, I would, I would like to mention to, to my church, uh, uh, to God's church, not mine, uh, we've lost two precious people in our church. And uh, they were with heaven. They were God. They were good people, sweet people. And... Uh, one of them, which we just lost her, took me by surprise because I, I thought for sure she'd come out of the hospital. But she didn't. But she's with God now. She's got all the help she needs. She's not hurt no more. And she can see now. This little lady was blind. But she was a very loving person. I had a lot of respect for her and her family. But I just want to put a word in about them because I believe she deserved, both of them deserve it. Thank you. And God bless y'all. Y'all have a nice day.